Hi guys, welcome. How's everyone? Good evening. Hi, my name is Sippo, and um, well, we're about to start. This is our first day. We are. This is my show called Live Hands On Demos. That's uh, the name, and we are here to share the experiences with the Game Pass Ultimate subscription for anyone that's interested. Um, there's over a hundred, no, two hundred now games, uh, just like the PlayStation Plus games come and go. Uh, four a month, we get games. Uh, one in the beginning of the month, and then the other rest scattered. Um, many games stay there a long time. Other games, they leave, uh, and they don't come back till like way later. Um, if they come back, if they're requested, if not, then. They just don't come back at all um yeah so that's that's pretty much it um then uh, besides that uh, we're gonna be talking about sharing some news any rumors that are heard uh i don't have a lot but this is the first show and uh, i'll just share a little bit and then just sharing experiences with each game uh whether i've tried it or or not and uh just so you can see thoroughly out uh what the game is all about and what uh, we are here to do so um we'll we will start very shortly in uh, three minutes if anyone has any questions just drop it in the chat i'll be glad to just uh answer anyone's question and so yeah today's like i said today's game is gonna be soul caliber six uh that just came out on july 1st and i wanted to get on and play it on my birthday which was july 2nd but i couldn't i wanted to get it on and do this in july 4th for independence Day. and again i couldn't <laughs> and now there's a brief moment of time and so yeah now we're able to do it um so yeah let's gonna try out all my slides this is my first stream uh, my name is Sippo, and I'll be glad to uh, yeah, just share as much content and knowledge I know about the games. Um, I've been gaming like most people who are from the 80s. Uh, over 20 years of gaming since I was a kid. Um, so I started out at uh, just, you know, playing at the Nintendo, working myself up, got all the way to the Xbox, fell in love with Dead or Alive on the Dreamcast side first. And just been loving graphics and gameplay and new mechanics one game that's blown me away uh two years ago was um, red dead redemption 2 i had to buy that game and just because the mechanics were so close to realism that it's it's in a way i think it's a little bit better in a sense of realism than grand theft auto because it is um just more i like western so i like the old school usa vibe and i think still in many areas of the countryside in the country in the southern areas they still live that way perhaps not exactly like the game portrays it just being that we're 2020 now but um it's just fun it's just good old fun to be in a western and just to see the different remarks and comments from the npcs was just beautiful and yeah um so caliber i you know, it's it's a passion game of mine. I I used to play competitive with friends, um, up to two players. Just play a lot of verses, and um, it just brings a lot of memories to see it again after all this these years. Um, I've been waiting for it actually. <laughs> I wanted to get it when it came out, but then just life happened and I couldn't get around and uh, make time for it to get it but i'm glad it's here now i get to do this and um yeah if uh if you see the link up there in some of my slides um uh it's just called streamer links forward slash lhd you'll find all my uh, social handles there uh you can look me up uh, i'm starting to stream and then i'm just trying to build up my my report well let's start it up guys it's uh time to Step on some toes. Get dicey and slicey here. J 
just one minute having a little technical difficulties there we are all right so we're at the dashboard we'll head into game pass just to explain it a little bit those that don't know uh, a lot of xbox gamers will probably know but people who don't uh who are curious to see what we offer what microsoft offers to us here um you know we have over hundreds of games that advertise i think till right now you pay a dollar and you get a month worth for that then you can upgrade ten dollars a month um or you can do the trick which is you buy a xbox live gold i believe if it still works you can buy xbox live gold for three years and then once you pay those three years you convert it you go into buy that dollar for the game pass ultimate you buy it for a dollar and it'll convert your xbox live gold into game pass ultimate for three years so it's a pretty good deal um haven't tried I tried some of the games, but uh, I haven't tried all the games, and that's what this is for. This is not only that I can try them, check them out, give you my opinion based on my experience uh, with past similar genres, and then uh, also you can see what they're being offered and what's, what entails each and every game and genre. Um, they have quests. That's just you play games, uh, and you get points, and there's points. Uh, they also work with Bing. You get those points, you match them up together, you can get enter sweepstakes and many other things in that way. Uh, let's see, let's, let's go into it so you guys can see. So show quests. Your quest varies by games and things that you can do. Uh, so I just completed all of those, but then let's see. No, no. Okay. Anywho, so it's just completed most of these. It's just a quest. Um. Yeah, here are the reason ones added. These are from June. The messenger that I want to go down and get check that out. Observation looks interesting. Streets of Rogue looks pretty funny. And Night Call looks like a nice, you know, noir type of uh, game probably comic book based not quite sure but this is the ones we're going into it's uh soul caliber we'll first check out a little description of the game for those of you that have never heard of it nor are familiar with what soul caliber is uh it's basically a fighting game That's what you're getting. It says Soul Calibur, bring more than your fist to fight. Soul Calibur says, represent the latest entry in premier weapon-based head-to-head fighting series. The heroic 3D battles transpire in a beautiful and fluid world with eye-popping graphics and visual appeal featuring all new battle mechanics. Character Soul Calibur 6 marks a new era of historic franchise. Welcome back to the stage of history. So that's uh, trying to make the announcer's voice, but you'll hear him later. Uh, it's rated teen. It has, oh, let's go back, let's go back. Sorry about that, everyone. Go back to just uh, Game Pass. All right, sorry about that. Let's continue as we were. Uh, so it's rated. Team, obviously, as you saw, rated team for mild language, blood, archer nudity, um, and violence. And then you you can buy in-game purchase. That's like uh, costumes and downloadable characters and probably certain stories as well. Um, I guess the reviews are giving a two point eight. I know the game when it first came out, um, the game got. Um, it has it was a little bit glitchy um, So let's see how it is now How about deluxe edition multiplayer two players or up to eight players has Xbox one X enhanced so Here you are interesting all new battle mechanics reversal edge, which is like a like a 
how you say like a hyper mode or whatnot you unleash like cinematic um or try to do something so you guys can see some cinematic moves um block your opponent's soul then counter attack infusion of offense and defense soul charge uh, that's the one i'm talking about the other one's for counters this one's for charging and then you do a temporary power up to turn the tide of the battle unleash additional attack in this state it says will little hit to deal huge combo damage and take down fearsome opponent it says a full assortment of single player modes story taking place in the 16th century visit the events of the very first soul caliber in soul chronicle mall so that's cool so you can basically play um i guess i would say it's the first soul caliber or soul blade and soul caliber which is what on a dreamcast and visit that story mode but with new graphics uh, which sounds pretty neat it says a wide variety of game modes clash with players around the world this is uh, online mode create your own character and suit your taste in creation mode guest characters gerald from cd project red witchers series joins the phrase so you have gerald so you have gerald from the witcher one two and three and perhaps four as rumors are heating up uh published by bandai namco and uh, that's pretty much it four fifteen dollars right now the regular version that's pretty good 75 percent off if you guys don't have game pass but still want to get it it's an xbox one x enhanced i would suggest it we'll see let's go into this that's siegfried i believe the one holding the sword and that's nightmare in the back with the red eyes he's one of the main bosses in siegfried i believe he has a story where he when he becomes evil turns into nightmare uh, if i'm wrong <laughs> anyone's more than welcome to correct me if i'm wrong so feel free to just hit me up in the chat and correct me um so yeah so the game's loading up give you a couple minutes all right so real engine 4 pretty impressive project soul so yeah i've played i didn't play the playstation 1 version of soul calibur which is soul blade but I got to play Soul Calibur, um, Six. Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast. Um, this is this. That was, by the way, on the right side was the Soul Blade, which is the evil sword that takes, possesses you, and you become evil because of the greedy, greediness for power. And I believe it's the Sword of Truth, the one on the left. Uh, either way, you'll learn that through uh, the story mode that this game en encompasses. So here we go, guys. First things first. Let's hit your so Xbox store. That's probably to get all your DLC. We're not going to hit in there. As you can see, you can see in the bottom down here, it says uh, Season Pass 2. Um, that's the season pass, it's the same as like, you know, any first person shooter or many games out there today. But you can get loot, you can get music, probably new clothing. Same like Dead or Alive and Mortal Kombat and many other fighting games that do it today. They try to squeeze in more money by giving more content. Don't you guys miss the day when like it was just the whole game for like 50 bucks? Yeah. So this is the screen settings your brightness your heads up display subtitles you know that's in the basic battle camera setting so in different uh, modes that the game has which is creation mode story mode mission versus arcade training uh, sound your sound effects you can mess there music for the game character voice narration oh i like this switch of languages you know we're gonna try out Japanese. We have to. <laughs> no, no, we'll keep it in English for now. Um, player one. Oh, you can map your whole controller. Look at that. I. That's the one thing I really like about fighting games. 
I wish all games had this, but uh, like you can just map your, what you want it to be for hitting, punching, kicking, or cutting with your sword. And again, right here, you can assign it for each button. This is the music for each stage. You can assign that too. Okay. Your favorite. So all of that you can set it up. I don't think you can bring in music. No, you can't bring in music from your hard drive. Then just network setting. Upload replays, customization of display, ranked in casual, and then reset your settings. Data analysis setting. That's uh, we had to sign. You know, you're signing saying that they're collecting the data to know um, basically how you use the game. Um, then just the copyright info. And that's pretty much it. That's all for the setting, guys. All right, let's get into. Let's see. Let's see. We see. We see. I think I have a pretty good idea. Pictures is what you get. You know, you got the profile on the right side of each character. Uh, their height, their weight, the weapons, their little bit of their background. Um, so that's all the characters. Look, there is Gerald. Wow. Then you have the library, character compendium. So I guess it does gives you a brief who they are. Okay. It's weapon complaints. So it's just like an encyclopedia of the game, basically. That's that's the encyclopedia. Sorry. Uh, just the story of each thing. You can you know get context of what you'll be seeing. Historical documents. You gotta unlock more. Literature. Look at this, you can buy it. If you don't unlock it, you can buy it. Hidden records, I haven't locked. That, that was the library, this is the gallery. Ooh, look at this. Oh, for all the games. Oh, wow. Look at this, artwork. That is pretty neat. Oh. <laughs> it is butt cheeks. <laughs> I, I never thought I would see Mitsurugi's butt cheeks. That is funny. It reminds me of the roast of native people used to work in the land, but that's a typical, I believe, Japanese undergarment because he wears his uh, samurai suit. So, wow, that is awesome. Man. That is so cool. That's the other costumes they have available. Look at that. Wow. Oh man, I have a blast. You can unlock for all the rest of the games that they have. That's pretty awesome. Combat lessons, let's see. Some tactics. Okay, okay. I see. Movement. Okay, so this is just a little tutorial in written form. Then you get for each character specific, that's pretty nice. Okay, so you don't need a Prima's strategy guy anymore. <laughs> it's all in the game. That's pretty neat. Music. Yeah, that's so caliber. <laughs> so, so nice. Okay, then tips. Battle tutorial. Oh, okay. Oh, those are the things that appear in the loading screen, I mean, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I was just telling you how this is for press and select food. Oh, this is for mission mode. Oh, I see. Okay, mission mode, that's what that's for. Okay. Hey, I'm learning as you guys are. <laughs> so, network. 
is ranked casual matches. You can check your replays of your matches. Ranking is probably just leaderboards. Um, I believe. Yeah. Number one. Why? And I'm sure you can check check the statistics of each gamer. Wins, wins. Wow. That's pretty cool. So he plays with Kilik and I guess, hey, that's his, oh, that's cool. So I guess this is the armor that he uses or the outfit that he uses when he plays with Kilik. That's what he has on in each one of those things. He doesn't have any headgear. He uses the Kali Yuga. Probably you can choose out the certain weapons when you customize your character, so. That's cool. Style, yes, Kilik style. Okay. Hey, I can dig that. That's pretty cool. So you can even search rank by styles. And the styles is just the, each character has its own style, so that's what it is. Casual matches, not ranked. That's how you just in the rank matches. That's how you get in the ranking leaderboard. All right. Uh, we won't go into a match online per se, but. Let's see, battle. This is where we have training mode. Set of situations in which to hone your martial arts skills. You know, it's pretty much each uh, character has a set of moves, basically. They have uh, their whole list of moves. And in training mode, you can try out those moves. That's what it is. That's what we're looking at in training mode. So you go select your character and you're going to basically to hone out those moves. Um, Welcome to the stage of history retold. So you pick who you play with and then you pick who you're gonna play against. Um, versus mode is simply you can see you can play against the PC or you can play by yourself. Um, by yourself against the PC or you can play with two people basically. Arcade you can play against the eight CPUs which is the, the computer character and and then in this mode yeah, then you can oh and it says you can also while you're playing people can come and join you for rank matches. That's pretty cool. So we'll probably head back into our K mode just so to show you guys how it is. And then creation. Let's check it out. It's uh, the game creator. Ooh, character creation lets you choose from a variety of options, build your own unique character and customize a regular soul calendar. So you can customize a character and you can build your own from scratch. Character creation is divided into two tabs, unique, make a new character from scratch or customize, create your own character based on other players' custom character, okay. I'm gonna try to do both. Customize style, you can view, save, edit, share. Oh, so the, oh, so you can't use the customized character for a ranked and cash room, so you can't use them online. But you can use the character, basically a character already made part of the story, which is all the list of characters the game has. But you can modify them, changing their clothes or weapons, and then you can play with those online. Okay, sounds pretty cool. So let's see, unique. Let's go with unique first. See what they have available. Original creator creation, design custom character from ground up, regular original character creation or some caliber customization. Let's see, let's see what the character creation does. You can choose a variety of different races when you create a character. Race does not affect battle capability. Okay, some customization options are not available for certain races. Ooh. 
last round chosen by history so each one this i thought this was a this was a spartan but i didn't see the lizard eyes <laughs> Characters. Oh, this reminds me of uh, Silverman. And this is. Is this not a character from Final Fantasy XI? There's such a character from them. This is like a tr ogre or troll. Okay. Oh, this is like the boss character. Okay. Um, I wish they had like a. Besides her, obviously, a Japanese looking. Character like Mitsurugi, um, Mr. Skeleton. Let's try Mr. Skeleton. It says living cores animated by malevolent energies. Some shamble to their feet because of the soul edge, others dark cores. Um, you know what? We're gonna try. You know what? I like lizards, I see them every day where I live, and I've always wondered. <laughs> I'm not a lizard person or lizard believer, I'm lizard man, but let's see. Uh, my favorite lizard is also a chameleon, but lizard man was uh, kind of like it. He played kind of like Nightmare, I remember. I believe in uh, Soul Calibur for the Dreamcast. So, weapon style Mitsurugi. Ooh. So just so edge of so charge effects. Um, his styles like Mitsurugi's. So Shishio, that's the sword types that he can use. And the massive blade. Obviously. That's pretty nice. And the body. You can change his gender. Wow. Um, it will be lizard woman. <laughs> so you can have a lizard woman finally. Uh, slightly tall. But he can't have nothing in his head. Oh, he can't have. I see. He can't change those to lizard man's teeth. Oh, look, his speech. This is height and his speech or his yeah his speech um, his equipment and it manually oh wow so headgear chest pieces jackets bottom belts scarves arms and chest feet and rings my goodness that's a lot a lot of customization, color, battle command, comments. So you can take a picture. You can change his name. <laughs> Mock battle, I guess a taunt. And he's just finished editing. So that's what that has. That was for the for Unique now customized. Let's see customized. So let's see customize the girl. So stars like your own. Oh okay, so they have Oh they have characters already available. Oh that are customized basically. Someone created them. Oh that's cool. Oh, so this is basically wow so you can create characters put them online anyone can play with them it's just that the online database is so color for characters that's pretty neat oh i like this this guy looks vicious let's try one more time one more time just to check to see what they have let's see oh wow <laughs> Sorry, I like like my hero time. <laughs> he has no meat. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. Okay, Mr. T. We can take Mr. T. Yup. <laughs> Alright, let's take Mr. T. Yes, I want to download this character. Okay, we'll take Mr. T. Oh, Mr. T. Oh, he has nunchucks? Nunchucks, look at this. Weapon style, you can change it to time. Look at this. Oh, take this one. A Tofax. So you can still edit him, even though he's downloaded. I guess what you can't mess with... Oh, you can. You can still change him. If you don't like him, you can just... Boom. Oh, nice. So you can still customize him. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. So that's that. I guess the difference is that um, these are based, the unique are based on characters from Soul Calibur, and some of them cannot have. Like this, it can't have any head gear. Uh, or things, certain things, like you can't change just this, you can't change that, because it's already as the character he's, he's designed after. But this one, you can't change all of that. Because they're own self-made uh, gamer uh, people online that have made this. Okay, so that was customization, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think it's very thorough. See, I I can't say I have seen that in my in my years of playing fighting games to see such customization. I know there are. I know that some games do have some thorough customizations, like Mortal Kombat now and other characters as well other games as well see that was creation uh let's go into soul chronicle this is the story mode this is basically you pick one of the characters and you're gonna advance through the story and you're gonna encounter all the other characters it's just you know, like their point of view, their experience, what they went through on the journey of the Soul Blade. So, to give you guys, see there, it says begin episode in the bottom, because there is section off by episode, different episodes. So let's see, I'm gonna try to pick a character. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Max, so you guys can see. This is uh, 158318 Maxi 1. This is first episode. And Maxi is crew as the title of the episode. So we'll see what we got. We probably got some storyline stuff. Maxi is a Nunchaku wielder who hails from the Ryukyu. So, yes, yeah, so he'll give you a brief Unlike his father, a merchant bound to his kingdom. Summary of his Maxi past. Maxi refused to be shackled to anything and so chose the path of piracy. With his eyes on the wider world and a trusty crew in tow, I remember he set sail, drifting from adventure to adventure as he saw fit. Now, bound for India, Maxi's ship headed towards Southeast Asia. As I say, I remember that was one of my best friend's uh, favorite character. Soul Edge? The hell is that? It's some sort of legendary sword. This merchant here is saying it's being sold at some shipboard auction. Call me Lila. I need some competent guards to watch over everything. Plus, you have your own boat. Then I guess I'm the man for you. I've got a bad feeling about this, brother. Soul Edge. Name alone sounds like trouble if you ask me. You know me. I'm not one to turn down a beautiful lady. What a wretched job. We're pirates, not handymen. Quit your whining. Ignore my crew. They lack the finer social skills. <laughs> I trust you'll be able to keep them in check. Uh, of course. I reckon we'll all get along just fine. <laughs> Kadana's gonna be jealous. Something's not right, I tell you. <sighs> 
Whoa, we've barely raised the sails. This don't look good at all. No time for gum flapping. So here we go. As you can see, it's just the story mode. This is probably the people that you're playing through the story. So it's gonna be, the buttons are gonna be backing up. Obviously, you're walking back. But you're also blocking. You're blocking mid. And, and then you circle by going down. That's how you circle up, go upwards, and circle your character. You grab with the left. Trigger is for grabbing. The bumper does does a combination of two buttons basically. And let's check it. Let's check it out. Controls. So basically, yeah, this is basically attack is with B, kick is with Y, you can guard with A, A and guard is the right trigger. So B, I believe, is for like countering. So that's it, that's the boundary right there. And so you press that. It's a stun move, you know? You can like, you to do combos and as they mid-air. This is the one thing, yeah, this game, like, people are gonna bounce in the air. So you have people just throttling you, just juggling you, juggling you, you just people that plays precise and technique you're gonna be able to do that on you, so you gotta really master your character that's where it comes to training with the right hand as you see the meter where it says 1, it's charging and this charge you can do a soul a charge move. <sighs> Broken again. I don't know my own strength sometimes. Yagaji, sorry, but I got another repair job for you. Yeah, brother, I blistered my hands making improvements, but it's still far from perfect. Yagaji, how's your injury doing? Yeah, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to use my land legs for a while. Yagaji. I'm fine. It's a great chance for me to look for some good wood. Now, don't get rusty while I'm gone, brother. Not a chance. You've all seen how skilled a fighter I am. Not necessarily the best, though, huh? <laughs> no need to add that. So yeah, that's I guess Maxie's brother. First time I meet him, I've never met him before. Um, yeah. Um. So that was it. That was the controls. This is what. Uh, this is now too. We're gonna go back, and we can. We're gonna press start. We're gonna head back. Just so, you, just so we can. That's Soul Edge. It's got dubious origins, I think. Set. So. It's not. Let's skip it. Because we're going to go back and so we can check the other things. Um, anyone's got any questions? No? Everyone's good? Okay. So, yeah. That's Soul Caliber. Battle 1. Fight. Step back. So that was story mode, so chronicle basically. So just the journey of every single character, how they came together or how they not, how they encounter each other through the journey to get toward the soul edge and try to some 
want it, acquire it, and some want to destroy it. So you choose which side by what character. I'd say just play with all the characters so you can learn their moves and see which one you're good at. Um, it says create an original character and set for an adventure around the world where you will experience the legend of the first sword for a different from a different soul's perspective. So see this one's a dramatic story, so it's like a comic book like you saw. Individual characters in the main tale and a cursor. So I guess this one would just have you create your own character. And you'll take that character. The ray to of the light story. from the evil seed pierced the sky. Its glow reaching as far as India. And here we find Find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Wow, so it is different. I mean, it's a storytelling still. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos. Unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. So yes, yeah, so it seems like the story is trying to make it more personal. Uh, catering to your character. Here it is, see, race, body type, weapons. There it is. You can't have horns, tails. You can edit his color. His skin, his hair color. So you see all the same things like the customer. So let's see. Let's just say we want him like this. All right. Let's see. Let's finish editing. Let's take. Um, let's just take the good time. His name is Atsushi, that's fine. His name is Sushi, let's name him Sushi. Sushi man! He's the Sushi man. You know what? Let's name him Genki Sushi. That's a restaurant in Hawaii. If anyone doesn't know, Genki Sushi it is, guys. So let's see what Genki Sushi has. If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now arise, take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. Okay, that was pretty serious. <laughs> so don't joke around now. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it seems like a very thorough and, and de deep fighting game. Oh, there am I. Explore the surrounding area, you don't have this feature yet. Converge. Okay, so you get the background story of the saw itch here. Or just a teaser. Basically, it's a teaser to keep your interest. You're like, what? What was that? See? <laughs> Even the characters responding like that. When I awoke, my head was pounding. Maybe it was nightmare. It had, but I could barely catch my breath or stop shaking. You're finally awake. It seems you had quite the nightmare, son. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet but strong will. 
Sasalamel. Salam alaikum. My name is Sasalamel. And I know what happened to you. I'm trying to make his voice. <laughs> so, so, you were greatly affected by the evil seed. You escaped becoming a manifested. But I'm afraid you may not escape that. That's his voice. Okay, so it has RPG interaction, questioning. Hmm. This is not ask anything for now. If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you the way of the dragon. <laughs> no, no. I will teach you to how to extend your life. Okay. Says the area next journey's dawn is the dojo drona a martial art masters here to play the battle tutorial for some kind of our business master to train before starting your adventure okay. change location so they change location to go to the dojo area okay. training basics new techniques Tutorial. Oh, built in the tutorial. What? Do you know? I learned a highly respected martial artist instructor in India named Drona, praised as very model of a warrior. I made many way across treacherous mountains, paths, and traversed crumbling ledges before finally reaching my destination. A dojo surrounded by burbling. That's not bourbon. That was burbling mountain streams. To one side of the dojo, a diverse group of young warriors were enthusiastically practicing with weapons. Having me come from far away and wide, I'd heard many of them even came from royal or noble bloodlines, unlike their master's humble roots. Oh! Hi, traveler! What you doing? What business do you have so deep in the mountains? I told him my name, and that's I come here to learn. Oh, hiya! Whoa, Genki Sushi! I never refused anyone with a desire to learn. However, I live in seclusion because I have earned the ire of local king. If you stay, you too may find yourself with a powerful enemy. Are you sure about this? I, I nodded and said, yo. It's on, like Donkey Kong. And he continued. Very well, I will train you, but before we begin, let me see your skills. I <laughs> remember in the voiceovers from uh, Kung Pao Chicken <laughs> when he said, Oh, I will defeat him. Or you guys remember the Neo Sporin song? <laughs> that was hilarious. Neo, Neo, Sporin. Oh, it's a movement. Okay, so this is basically going to tell you all about it. What I tried to tell you earlier, basically. You can step in eight different ways. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A step. In. Eight different ways. That's pretty neat. So let's go back guys Let's go back I'm actually gonna take a 10 minute break And I'll be back Alright Anyone that's listening out there Just leave me a hey I'll leave a BRB And I will turn on also the um, music request if anyone wants to put something on there. If not, a trailer is going to be playing. Hope you enjoy it. I will see you in a bit. Uh, 
when I come back, I'll be back to do... To do, um... The Hyper Gauge! And tell you what I think. Uh, where the game pairs up. What it should be rated. Um, so just stay tuned for that, okay guys? Here we go, see you guys in 10. Ito Sumeragi. My power is psychokinesis. Ready?
Hello and welcome to the first look at Xbox Series X gameplay being broadcast from our homes to yours. My name is Damon and I have the pleasure of teaming up with our own Sarah Bond to bring you a sneak peek of some of the great games coming to Xbox Series X. What you just witnessed was Bright Memory Infinite from Playism, created from the ground up by a single individual at FYQD Studio in China. Developers are using the hardware to achieve their dreams and their nightmares in amazing ways, using the power to optimize their games the way they want. You know, higher resolutions, crazy frame rates, ray tracing, and yes, faster in-game load times. But it's also awesome to see the partner support for smart delivery, ensuring that fans only have to purchase the game once to enjoy it on whichever Xbox system they own or will own in the future. So over the next 25 minutes, we're going to debut just a slice of the amazing This is, or was, the Ascent Group main metropolis. Like you, most people have contracted their entire lives away to get here. Workers or indents, slaves in all but name. Arcology on Velas has shut down. If the latter is true, corporate ground teams will already be moving in. This is a crisis supernova. The Ascent Group has collapsed. We have a shot at true independence. I won't let it go to waste. We wish to test your abilities by giving you a special assignment. Find out what happened. Say your proper hello. Hi, I'm Sipo. This is me, Air. Or this is me right here. And right there. Howdy, folks. Mighty fine to meet you. Yes. So, um, yeah, we are here. This is Hyper Gauge. This is where we are to give an incredible score to our game that can blow your mind. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, let's see. So, like we said, we mentioned on the game. First of all, let's go through the, you know, the game has already been out for about two years. So it has a meta score of 84 um, and a user score of 6.5. Now, um, I know when the game first came out, it had a whole it had a little bit of glitches, especially when it came to online. There's a lot of games that dropped and um, yeah, people were having just a horrible time with the game in the beginning. 
Uh, but today, as today, the years came by after, um, the game's just... Whoosh, eSport picked it up, and it's just been one a top hit on eSports. So, the awards and rankings that uh, Metacritic gives it for Soul Calibur Sys is, is the number 27 best PlayStation 4 game of 2018. I mean, think about how many games released that year, and it's the 27. That's not bad. It's not top 10, but it's in the top 50. Um, and it's also number 37 most discussed PS4 game of 2018, and the 11th most shared PS4 game of 2018, which I would think is the game that people would bought and then shared it to someone else. Um, in IGN, on the other hand, gave the game a that was reviewed by Mitchell Saltman um, he gave the game an 8.9 talking about 5 point difference there 84 to 8.9 um, and it says so he said the, the game was great Soul Calibur is, a, is so strong that a few minor issues don't do much to bring in down one of the best entries in the series uh, so that's what you got that's the review that it has today and you know what it's on the eight for me really with all the as you guys saw all the customization the game has right all the creator and then going online and all the mission mode like i personally i love these characters i grew up with these characters and to see them fleshed out like this in this you know in this stage after so many years it's really like a how to say just a an emblem to the fans a gift to the fans i mean to have the collection of all the artwork from 1 through 6, to have all the music from 1 through 6, um, to have costumes from the past, and man, that's just, it's just a cater, just a, a game made out of love from the developer to the gamer, to all the fans. So for me, I think this game gets, drum roll please. <laughs> I have to put a real drum roll now. Um, I think the game gets a five stars. I'm going to give it a five stars because of all the wealth and amount of content it has. And I mean, let's not talk replayability. Oh my. Replayability, it is very, very good. Um, and so... I think the game deserves its five stars. So the game is an excellente. Yeah, the game gets an excellente. So hooray to Soul Calibur 6. There you go. That's how much you'll give uh, Soul Calibur. And I. If you're a fan, you're probably oh, like whoop, this. Whee! Ooh, that's yeah. how I am. <laughs> and I know if when I thought of the score, I said no. Oh, yeah! It has to get us. It has to get a five. It's like it's no doubt about it. So yeah, five stars for the game, and on our hype gauge. And I guess um, I I am gonna try to get more deep into it and just flesh it out. It has a lot for anyone coming for the first time to go into it. Uh, and if you just try, I think if you just try out the story, the you know, Soul Chronicles, mess around with that, or even just do the arcade mode, you'll be fine. You don't have to know the history of everything. It's there for you if you want it. Um, and on other news, I uh, just wanted to share, you know, that there's been some rumors spreading. And was watching some videos on YouTube uh, that has some people some some credible sources and they were saying that the PlayStation 5 will release November 20th 
Jeez. That's only like, what? Already, um, that's what, six months from now? Yeah, somewhat. Five months? No, no, four months from now. It's gonna release. So that, November 28th. They're saying the games now? Games are gonna go up? That's what I heard. The games are going up. And they're gonna be seventy dollars now. You guys believe that? Seventy dollars. We're getting to the Nintendo era where the games were oh, ninety dollars. Jeez, I I just couldn't believe it. But the games are gonna be ninety dollars now, and so we'll see what happens. Um, but. Yeah, and they're saying also that the console, the PlayStation 5, the console with with the Blu-ray hard drive in there, that's going to cost $500, but the one that's digital without the hard disk in it, that's going to cost $400. So and they just showed also uh, dark mode or or black black version of the game of the console which is looks pretty good pretty neat um, so yeah I believe reserves it says the reservations if you want to reserve your PlayStation 5 start getting your money ready because the PlayStation 5 will be available for reservation next week that's July 13th so yeah um, Check them out, save your money, start working and <laughs> collecting your tips and allowances. So, like I said, the game is really good. Five stars for Soul Calibur. The story is nice. It's uh, intriguing, interesting. It's done like in a comic book manga or Japanese comic book style. Uh, the difficulties when you go through the difficulties the AI can kick your butt and probably will if you're a beginner to the game uh, the controls are pretty steady feel of the character they don't feel that clunky they feel pretty smooth very responsive every time you push either the attack or any type of button they will you know the game will respond the game mechanics I really like all the different, the new things added, which is the Soul Edge counter, and then the grab and the special finishing move with the cinematic. I like that. I like the different settings options that the game brings too. It's uh, it's very, uh, I say, it's very in depth to you know adjust for your TV, for your sound, uh, for subtitles, for many things. I wish they had more accessibility for. People that like are colorblind or anyone that um, gets motion sickness, those things will be a plus. Um, and the multiplayer, I like that they have social and they have ranked, and they let you take your customizable character, whether it's a unique customization or a customization like an adaptation of already a style from one of the characters already made. So, as I said, the game gets a uh, Five stars, excellent. Uh, you know, like the description says, it's one of the best games. Simply, you must buy it uh, if you have the money. Like you saw, is the game's only sixteen bucks, I think, on the marketplace for uh, Xbox. But through Game Pass, I mean, it's, I mean, what's a dollar for a month? That's like nothing. And yeah, the game has, uh, I believe, it's a thousand achievements, and. Um, the achievements aren't so strictly hard to get they're attached to the story to mission they're attached to online and uh, you also as you get the achievements there are unlockables attached to it so you get you know two for one basically um, anyways uh, without a further ado I just want to thank everyone that watched everyone that was present uh, if you have any suggestions for me just drop me a just DM me, drop me a message there and hit me up. Let me know what you think, uh, how I can improve the show and uh, subscribe. And I will continue to 
continue this is the start so i'll continue to keep doing my streams regularly and see what everyone thinks and as you can see uh the next game that we'll have uh what we'll do next um i believe is gonna be let's see the next one on the list will probably be let me search for it probably be observation so we'll check it out we'll see how it goes and until further ado guys thank you again for stopping by you have been awesome and uh, i just wish everyone a good night get a good rest and i will surely see you soon uh, so stay frosty online <laughs> take care guys with this i exit this is simple this has been live hands-on demo of soul caliber 6 yeah high score the game got a five an excellente and so yeah have a great night thank you again guys sweet shooties Not yet.